Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be rebuilding this up ramp and kind of like vlogging the process. Let me know which style you prefer. Do you rather the straight up time lapses or where I kind of show behind the scenes of what I'm actually doing, like what I did for this double roller. But anyway, as you can see, this up ramp's pretty rough at the moment. It's been about three years since I last rebuilt it. The main um, reasons it gets damaged is from like the rain, wind, and also just being ridden. So I've got to freshen it all up and make it a little bit steeper so it sends you off a bit higher. Should be pretty sick once it's done. First of all, I'm just gonna completely soak the up ramp. I'm just going to let that soak in for a little bit. Now what I'm doing is shaving the sides down and I'm actually taking the dirt away instead of slapping it up the top. The reason why I'm taking it away is because if I did throw it up, it would end up making the up ramp bigger than the landing. So what I'm doing is taking the dirt away and putting it at the end to start another up ramp. I shaved down the sides and the back. We've got about five wheelbarrow loads out of it, so that's pretty sick. What I'm gonna be doing now is just soaking it and letting it sit overnight because I'm gonna be shaving down the sides and making them really steep. And what sucks is if you shave down the sides and there's dry dirt there because that's what's gonna make the sides collapse. So basically I wanna get it soaked in all throughout the inside of the up ramp as much as I can going to smash the front up of this so I can make it a bit steeper. See how the dirt soaked in really well? It's still wet right underneath and that makes it a lot easier to build with. It's actually so soft I thought it would be harder. It's coming along quite nicely. I steepened the front up, it's looking good, and pretty much finished this side. I'm gonna get this side here looking like the other side now, and then I'll start working on the back, and once I get that all sorted, I'll go around and finish the whole thing off. This right here is what you don't want to see where you hit a dry spot because do you see that? If you're not careful, everything will just collapse. So what you could either do is soak it in some more or don't just like carve it out as much. Like even when you water this first little dry bit, you want to be careful because if you hit it too much, it's just going to keep coming down like that. I've got the up ramp all stacked up. This build's been pretty straightforward apart from that little problem in the back. So now what I'm gonna do is just get like a rough shape of how I want the up ramp to be. I reckon I'm gonna make it a bit steeper than this still. And then once I get that sorted out, I'll fully finish off both the sides, do the back, and then come back and finish the front off.
I just finished the up ramp off. I'm really happy with it. The only problem is there's like a storm starting to roll in. So I'll probably just rake some of these rocks away and then probably try to chuck a tarp on it before this rain hits it. Hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild video. I'm gonna be testing the up ramp out in my next video, which will be a dirt jump update, so get keen for that. Should be pretty sick, I reckon. Probably sends you up pretty high, so I'm keen to hit it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.